Hi guys, it's me, Kimberly Clark. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, it's 2016. I am happy to start the year off with my fall winter favorites. Welcome to my favorites. Okay, so as you may know, my favorites videos are seasonal and they come at the end of the season. I decided to combine fall and winter just because, I don't know, I did my summer favorites, I posted it like in October, it felt super late. These favorites are going to cover fall 2015, winter 2015, 16. So if you watched my summer favorites video, you know this already, but all of my favorites videos are interactive. You could follow along with my favorites, with me as I'm going through them, on the Snups app. Snups, S-N-U-P-P-S, Snups. Just go there, search for me, Kimberly Clark, and you'll find a shelf called Fall Winter Favorites. And you could swipe along and look at all, you know, close-up pictures and stuff of my favorites as I go along. Follow me on Snups and follow along and let's go. Okay, so I don't really have any skincare things except this one product. This is kind of like my saving grace for like the wintry, cold, dry months. This is pawpaw ointment. Now, there are several brands of this. This happens to be Dr. Pawpaw. I have used Lucas's pawpaw ointment, which is like comes in a red tube. Oh, here it is. This is this is another brand of it, Lucas's pawpaw ointment. Honestly, any brand of pawpaw ointment is amazing. Okay, pawpaw, if you're not from down under, you don't know, pawpaw means papaya. So papaya is a fruit that is pink and fleshy and phenomenal on the inside, and this is made from papaya extract with petroleum jelly. So basically it's just like super Vaseline. I use this for my cuticles. I'm gonna put some on right now, maybe because I just did my nails. I use it for my lips. It's like the perfect lip balm. This is expensive. It's not cheap. It's not like as cheap as chapstick or Vaseline or something. You can get Lucas's at Ricky's, I know, and this Dr. Papa I purchased at C.O. Bigelow and Company, which is a pharmacy kind of fancy pharmacy makeup place in the village in New York City. They're a little trickier to find, but I really gotta say, there is something about the plant extract in here that just makes this stuff last so well. I don't have to keep reapplying it. I put it on my lips once. I'm good for like the night. This is also the only cuticle treatment that I use. I don't use cuticle oils. I don't use any other type of special cuticle product. I really just use this and it is a perfect cuticle treatment because it is thick enough that it will actually stay on your cuticles and heal any of that dry kind of tough skin. It won't just slough away like a oil will. That's really what you want out of a good cuticle treatment. And for your lips, it's just excellent. It's just like a perfect, more natural lip balm, which I love. Also, this is great for any part of your body. You could use it on your elbows. You could use it anywhere where you have chafing. Next is my one tool that I'm going to talk about. This is a dirty Morphe powder brush. Now, this is a brush that I got from the uh, the Morphe Vegan collection. I, I, I kind of alluded to it. I bought this on Holt Look a couple months ago. It was just kind of a set of vegan brushes. They're all synthetic brushes. They come in all different sizes, but they had a couple powder brushes in that set, and this is one of them. Now, I love this brush. It is a big fluffy brush, but you could see the ferrule is pinched. It is narrower this way than it is this way. This shaped brush is perfect for putting on your baking powder if you're doing like a bake, which I do because I'm a drag queen, but a lot of people are kind of getting into that baking thing where you bake your concealer, where you put a highlight powder, loose powder on top of your concealer and kind of let it set for a while to enhance the color, heighten the brightness of the color. This is really, really great for that. I basically just use this with my NARS Loose Velvet, what is it called? My NARS Loose Velvet Powder in the shade Snow, which is what I use to bake, you know, set my highlight and all that kind of good stuff. 
stuff. But I love this. I'm sure there's like a, mo a more mainstream Morphe equivalent to this. And if I can find that, I will put the name of it here somewhere. Okay, so I have an entire in-depth video devoted to this. This is the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Contour Palette. This is game changer. I mean, I really feel like a lot of people that have purchased this or received this have made this one of their favorites. It's like just, it's just such a game changing product. Basically, this is a contour palette where all of the shades are cool toned, you know, or generally cool toned. You have these amazing highlight shades up top. You have a whole row of blushes in the center. You have very like cool gray tone shades over here. And then you have slightly warmer tones over here. The basic way you use this palette is you contour your face first using these kind of cool tones over here to create a very realistic contour shadow because as Lunatic says, when was the last time you've seen an orange shadow? Most people contour with bronzers or bronze, kind of like orangey products. But to get a really realistic shadow, you want to use something that's very neutral or cool, like these. Problem is that if you just do that, you end up looking a little dead. So it's helpful to warm up with some of these kind of bronzy tones. I, I just can't rave about this palette enough. I have an entire video that is an in-depth review that talks about the quality of these shadows, the shades, full swatches, everything. And it has an in-depth price comparison, which I think is the most important. Basically, this is $74, but ounce for ounce, this is such an amazing value. You get so much product for that money, and it is just serious, serious, like perfect high quality. I can't, I'm, I'm just raving. I'm babbling because I'm raving about this so much. Go watch my video if you want to know more about this favorite. All right. I don't think it's surprising that this brand would kind of win the favorite game for me. Uh, if you've watched my channel at all, you know how much I love this brand. I just, I, I mean, I, I love, I love her so much. And that is Kat Von D. She makes the best eyeshadows ever. I just love the quality everything. Ugh, I, I love her. She's amazing. And I have three products of hers that are in my favorites this month. The first is this. This is her Metal Crush eyeshadow. This is in the shade Thunderstruck. This shade is the perfect highlight shade. It is a beautiful kind of gold cast white pearl shade. It's not like one of those cool like silvery pearls. Definitely has a little bit of gold in it. No, I am wearing it today. I created a gradient highlight. If you want to know more about that, check out my video for the gradient highlight. But I created a gradient highlight with this shade, Thunderstruck, and this e.l.f. blush in Giddy Gold, which is just a gold highlight shade. Anyway, I so I have this kind of on the fronts of my cheeks, and I also used it under my brow bone. I also used it on the inner corners of my eyelids and like onto my lid. Ugh, it, this is just such a fabulous universal highlight shade. I love it. And these Metal Crush eyeshadows by Kat Von D are excellent quality. These are a little pricey. They're $21, but you get a ton of product in them. And, you know, for a highlight, this is like a great, it's a great price. You know, the, I think that's, that's a great price for a highlight of this quality. Okay, the next product from Kat Von D is this tattoo eyeliner in the shade Trooper. Here is the full size. I actually have this brand new one. I haven't made it to this one yet because I've been using this deluxe sample that I have. Now, she has several liquid eyeliners out there. She has an ink eyeliner, and I think there's another one, maybe an even older one. But this tattoo eyeliner is specific because it has a brush tip. Now, this is a like calligraphy tip like exactly like a calligraphy pen and because of that it is super super precise now for me eyeliner is just something that i put underneath my ginormous eyelashes so i don't need like i'm not doing crazy you know detail work but i do do a wing which you can see kind of peeking out from some of my lashes a little bit. Anyway, in the past when I've done liner, I would put down a liquid liner and then I would have to set it or fill it in with black shadow because it was just not opaque enough, not matte enough. But with this, I do not have to do that. I don't have to set this. I don't have to layer a black shadow on top of it. This is enough. I will just draw my shape. I will just fill it in very easily. And I, I do not have any problems with opacity for this. Now, some people have said that they 
have to kind of go over their line a couple times just to get it to be completely opaque. I don't, I have not had that problem at all. I think maybe the tip is very thin. It's a very precise point. So that might mean that if you want to do like a thick dramatic wing, it might take you a little bit more time just because you have to kind of draw a shape and then fill it in. But the point, I mean, you can really like use any, multi, it's just like a calligraphy brush. I, I just love it. And I'm kind of like a, a visual artist. Like I have like that kind of background of like, painting and I love that about this like I love that it is kind of like an art implement it makes me feel more comfortable using it and I love it I love this way better than any felt tip liner so boom there you go Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper now this next product this is again no surprise this is the I, I mean I don't know the the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loco Remix eyeshadow palette this palette I mean, uh, you, you cannot not be in love with this. I have an unboxing video for this when I got it. I, I have a tutorial of a look that I did using exclusively this palette. Today, I use this palette to do this kind of like brown cut crease. I use this pink, pink in the crease, the shade Swoon, just a beautiful matte pink shade. Ugh, I use it to set my brows. I just, I freaking love this palette. The thing that's amazing about this palette is you have these like crazy bright shades around the outside and you have these very neutral shades on the inside. So you can do an entire eye look with this. You don't need to be going between two different palettes. And I actually love this packaging. It is like a giant kind of artist palette. I find that like the corners are super easy to hold. I can hold this in lots of different ways to like use it. I really feel like it's like a paint painter palette or something. A lot of people have complained that this is like kind of a wasteful waste of space. I, I don't feel I don't feel that way at all. I also really love the circular layout because it really allows you to clearly see kind of complementary colors. Like if I wanted to offset this pink color with a very complementary color, all I would have to do is go right across the circle to use one of these green colors. Like that's kind of the color relationships are kind of you know, laid out for you in a very clear way, which I truly appreciate. Favorite, I love it. Okay, next is a blush. Now, I feel bad putting this in almost just because this is a limited edition blush from last holiday season, but I really do feel like this is the perfect fall, winter blush. This is from the NARS holiday collection from last year. This is the blush shade Almeria, which is in Spain, if you're curious, the city in Spain or region or something. But it is this, this gorgeous kind of brownish berry, like a burnt berry almost. I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing all these products basically today. I'm wearing this today on my cheeks, on top of my lunatic contour. And it, I, I just love it. It's just like a gorgeous kind of festive but like very serious kind of matte I, I just love this blush I think it's so gorgeous I know there are dupes for this and other brands so if you have a blush that is similar to this or you think is very similar to this please leave a comment below and let people know that like there's other blushes out there like this love it love this blush and the packaging I think is so cute I loved this whole collections packaging just really great. Okay, next I have this freaking workhorse of a powder. I think there are a lot of products out there that are overpriced and ridiculous that do exactly what this product does, maybe even worse. This is the e.l.f tone correcting powder comes in a like a little compact it's really great you get a lot of product in here and it comes with a mirror and you get four kind of tone correcting shades you get this kind of like yellowy tone a light blue a green and a pink basically you can use this with the individual shades to kind of do some tone correcting or you swirl it together and it is just the perfect touch up powder this is translucent but it is like this excellent excellent touch-up situation here i'm going to use some of it right now i'm just going to swirl all of it together i'm just going to use it to just like touch up my nose just in case i have any shine there i i just love this i bring this with me everywhere to every gig that i have because i really feel like it's just such a space saver it has the mirror it has just the perfect kind of 
powder for touching up like and it is just so effective and light and it's just it's just great it's super fine it's super easy to pick up with the brush like i think a lot of pressed powder like the pressed version of the nars soft velvet powder is pressed too hard so it's very difficult to pick up on the brush this is not it's very easy to pick up and it's way more convenient than carrying around a loose touch-up powder because you won't open it and it'll fly everywhere and blah 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 blah. i first heard about this from emily noel i love her she's a great reviewer she's like great thoughts about products and stuff and is very knowledgeable about kind of like the bigger picture of products and she recommended this to me and i trust her and love it and it's great thank you emily thanks almost there almost there almost there so my lip product favorite is just a line of lipsticks that I think are perfect for the fall, winter, again, drier weather months. And that is this, the Maybelline Creamy Mattes. These came out last year, or like a year, a year and a half ago or something. I have an entire video that is all about these lipsticks. These are just absolutely fabulous. Today I am wearing Pink Sugar number six. 686 on the lips right now it is just like oh i've actually topped off pink sugar with this kat von d thunderstruck that's why i've had that like kind of amazing highlight in the center should i do add some more i love how these lipsticks will do that they will take like a powder product that i can like highlight with really well they are a matte formula they're not like 100% matte. They're not like a liquid lipstick formula, like the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. They're a little creamier than that, but because of that, they are super, super comfortable. Oh, here is the shade Touch of Spice. This, I really feel like, is the perfect winter color. You will see this color in my final installment of This Is My Face, little tutorial series about my whole like makeup beat and everything. That is the lip color that I'm wearing in that look. And I just think it is perfect. It is like the perfect Marsala color for 2015 color of the year. You know, these lipsticks, they wear really well despite the fact that they are not those like long wearing liquid lipsticks. I think they're great and they're just super, super comfortable. Love them, love them, Maybelline Creamy Mattes, and they are under $10. They're like great, affordable matte lipstick. Love them. Okay, and the last kind of beauty product that I have, I, like I've said in other videos, in my last favorite video and some other, you know, nail videos, I don't really wear like nail polish that's like one color. I normally do like crazy nail art. Today, however, I am wearing just one color. So it's often really hard for me to pick like a favorite nail polish because I'm often using lots of different shades to create like a art look piece thing whatever however there are some shades that I just love to wear alone like this one which I am wearing today this is Chanel frenzy frenzy is just this gorgeous like warmish gray tone this is opaque in like two to three coats for today I just did two really quick coats after I put my makeup on and then I topped it with Seshvi top coat. I think it looks great. I love it. This is just like such a universal, gorgeous shade. It feels super fancy because it's Chanel. I love it. It is ridiculously priced. $27 for a bottle of nail polish. I know. There are totally dupes for this, but I just love like a warm gray polish for the fall and winter months and it is something that is just like easy if I don't have time to do the crazy nail art thing which I love I will just slap this on and I'm good to go love it Chanel frenzy okay and that is all my product favorites now I have one more favorite now I, I've just seen a lot of people doing like song favorites and stuff and favorite songs and whatever you know I don't really like have contemporary pop songs that I am obsessed with. But I, I do love some classical music. I am a classically trained pianist. I am a vocalist. Like, I, I just love, I love, you know, the greats. And so Debussy is one of my favorite composers ever. And this piece of music is maybe my favorite piece of classical music ever. It is called La Mer, which means the sea. La Mer, for those of you that don't understand French accents. It is a three-part piece. 
it is just so beautiful. It actually just like encompasses the like actual experience of being on the ocean or looking out onto the ocean so perfectly. Uh, I want to play you just a very little tiny bit of the very end of this piece. There's this moment in the piece where everything kind of like collapses down and you're left with this one chord and it is the highest note that an orchestra can play and the lowest note that an orchestra can play. It's like super high A flat on piccolo and a low D flat on bassoon and it is just this like it is the broadest note interval that uh, an orchestra can produce and so what it does is creates this like the perfect like it, it, it's like exactly what looking out on the sea is just like this beautiful huge vista just the broadest amount of space like oh I love it but it's it's just fabulous <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I, I freaking love, I love this piece of music. Anyway, I love listening to this piece of music. And when I'm out and about in New York City, this freaking agoraphobia, claustrophobia, hell, tons of people, everybody smells a lot of people, traffic, horns honking, people running you over, just tourists, just run, bags and Soho, running through the streets, just lots of Elmo, tickle me Elmo, trying to get you to give him money. Like, ton, like just so much stimuli, like ugh, ugh, lots of stuff. Pop this on your headphones, and there you are. You're sitting on the beach, you're looking at the ocean. It, beautiful. Debussy has just like captured that perfectly. So if you're, if you know, if you haven't ever listened to classical music or something, maybe this is like a little in for you. So like, check out, check out La Mer by Debussy. Fabulous, fabulous three movement work. Just, in, just, just fabulous. Listen to it, like put some headphones on or like just sit back and listen to it. It's like 20 something minutes long. Just listen to it. Don't do like, don't put it in the background where like, no, just listen to it. Just see what, see what it does to you. It's going to, and I'm, I guarantee it's going to make you, it's going to calm you down. It's going to make you, make you happy. Get you a little happy place. Okay, that's it. Those are all my favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Welcome, welcome. Hi, hi, I'm Kimberly Clark. Check out my other videos. Let me know what your favorite winter, fall, winter products are. If I'm like missing out on anything, if I gotta try some stuff, or if you've had like experiences with any of these products, if you agree with me, if you disagree, let me know. Let's start a conversation. Talk about it. Talking to the people, that's what it's all about. I'm Kimberly Clark. Bye.